Hello and welcome to another After Effects Breakdown. Sorry, out of sequence, if you're a regular subscriber viewer, you might notice that this is actually going to be very out of character from the normal Final Cut tutorials that you might be used to. Um, but for those that do follow my channel, you'll know that I've just completed a science fiction film which we made for the Sci-Fi London 48 hour competition in which we had to create based on uh, a line of dialogue, a title, and a prop that the uh, Sci-Fi London gave us, we had to create a film in 48 hours, which is obviously a massive challenge, and that meant we only had one night, and it was an all-nighter, to create all the visual effects. So I thought it might be insightful to share some breakdowns for some of the, some of the visual effects, um, bearing in mind that they only took between half an hour and an hour and a half to two hours each um, because we had a few visual effects to do and we didn't have time so I prioritized and I was just going to share how some of the visual effects were created if you haven't seen the film check the link in the description below go watch the film then come back here and enjoy uh, learning about how some of these effects were created in no time whatsoever but all using Adobe After Effects now if we just take a look at this effect you can see we've got this eye scanning thing going on. Just watch it once more. There's a few elements that create this effect. Now, this tutorial will only really be useful for those that are slightly familiar with After Effects, so I'd recommend going and checking out videocopilot.net if you haven't already, but I'm sure you have. Um, and then, once you're familiar with After Effects, these will obviously make more sense. But the bottom line is, you've got two things going on here, really you've got the interface and then you've got the interaction with the actual eye um, and this is a, a basically a tablet scanner the prop that we were given was a tablet or smartphone that scans the eye and we thought why not take that further and go for a futuristic phone um, if we just actually look at the uh, original um, original file let's just solo um, solo the uh, the original source clip you can see that it's actually um, those that ever played like collectible cards or, or like Yu-Gi-Oh or, or Pokemon cards you'll know that this is actually a deck holder like a card holder like a plastic thing um, and that's the source clip that we were dealing with so we, there was no markings no nothing on there um, and that meant that we had no track points to track the um, clip with so what I decided to do instead was create a solid a solid in the form of this black solid here which is very much very simply a black solid with the ratio of 3 by 2 to create the interface with if we hop back over you can see that there's a black uh, image now um, and this black image was basically uh, corner pins you can see there's an effect here that corner pins it to the image basically dip the opacity so I could just track it and corner pin it to the thing and you can see that actually the reality is it's not very well tracked at all you can see now the black um, base plate is in there if you look at the bottom line you can see it's moving quite a lot however once you uh, turn off the uh, black image and you've just got a very loose uh, see-through operating system you can't see that it doesn't actually stay very well in line so that was one of the shortcuts that we took because we didn't have any tracking points on the device and all our tracks seemed to mess up um, and that was one of the things we learned that if in doubt if the track fails just do find another way don't spend 10 hours trying to do a track if you can fake a track in 10 minutes um, then to create the OS on the uh, on the actual tablet we uh it's basically two it's it's a cyan solid like a, a blue solid with some triangles hacked out of it and then that's duplicated and made smaller and brought into the middle and the animated their rotation in opposite directions to make them more exciting you've got um this is just like a software number it's just a number that stays the same and then at the top you can see there's a blue fader thing that goes up and down just to give the impression that it's doing something and there's progress being made a bit like with the scanning you can see that there's a mask here 
we've got an animated mask that blocks off the scanning to give it a sense of progress. Anyway, that was all in a pre-comp with a shape uh, with a size of 3 by 2 which was pre-comped again into this le uh, this composition so that I could feather the edges. You can see there's a mask we used, if you check up here, we used a rounded uh, rectangle tool to fade off the edge so that we could also hide the fact that the track was bad and if you go back into the actual composition now you can see that there's actually a fade off here um, if we just zoom in oh not that far there's a fade off here then is really the rest was really really simple so there's basically a blur of a science solid that is just animated so that it stays connected and then after he taps the screen uh, we rotoscope around his thumb well, I rotoscope around his thumb to put his thumb back over the top of the uh, interface you can see this is just his thumb it's just animate that actual layer you can see only actually lasts the duration that it overlaps and that was it uh, but yeah so we, we've got this 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 uh, blurred transparent cyan object after they press the button it just fades out but it's this retraction that also adds to it you can see that as we start to fade out we pull in the glow and that just makes it look better because it doesn't then look like it, you've just turned the opacity off it looks like it's actually doing something it's retracting um, same with this. Now this is actually just a copy of the layer that's on the actual operating system. You can see that, that there actually there's a there's a blur that's been applied to the whole operating system oh. uh, just to uh, mimic the, the depth of field uh, because it's actually her face that's in focus. Um, so that yeah this is actually a, a copy of the layer uh, with a matte choker are applied to thin it down a bit you, and we also a mask um, expansion reduction um, and you can see here also as it fades away it shrinks and that again is just so it doesn't look like it, someone's just dipped the opacity and which is a really obvious thing to do just to make it look like it's doing something um, and you can see at the start it grows as well um, and then the last element is just this sweeper thing. Now this is basically a rotated layer that swings round. Uh, it's hard to see, but it basically it was also tracked to the null object. Sorry, I forgot to mention. There's a null object that's tracked to her eye, um, and the eye piece. This thing is tra is attached to the null object, and so is this thing, I believe. Um, and that basically just sweeps round so it's, it gives the indication of a scanning. Now normally you'd have the point attached to somewhere along here and it would scan the eye um, but to save time we did like an inverse scanning thing so it seemed even cleverer maybe um, but if we just if we hide the null object so it's less annoying you can see there's a slidey thing like a little sweep and um, that's how we helped create it. And basically, uh, we just lined up some animation for when we knew he was going to touch the screen. We made sure that the screen reacted by expanding. And there's actually, you can see her eyes. This is actually a picture of the same actress. Um, we, uh, She fades in. That was the one thing that I allowed to just be a simple fade in. And the reason for that is because there's a lot of scaling going on elsewhere. And also, it is a digital device. So some kind of unnatural just fade in with no uh, with no smoothness to the animation was efficient so for those people that like visual effects breakdowns hopefully this was somewhat interesting although perhaps nothing compared to the likes of the Marvel Avengers visual effects breakdown yes they do exist go and watch them if you already haven't um, but in terms of visual effects under pressure that are easily replicatable how about this for very simple, very raw and basic visual effects making to slightly enhance but not overrun 
the film. And what I mean by that is sometimes visual effects feel like they are the cause of the film and the reason for the film's production, whereas this is a very simple, very raw visual effect that just enhances the film and adds some kind of meaning. In this instance, it adds a sense of futuristic technology and empowerment um, of the scientist that holds this device over her, who's obviously actually chained to this chair and very in a, in a position of weakness and the device is used to show that um, and the technology differences uh, because she has no technology devices but yeah subscribe for final cut tutorials more of this if you liked this video then like it comment on it and let me know if you want some more of these going through some of the other visual effects even request which visual effects in the films that you liked and uh and we can start having a look shall we